Hey, Johnny Mosley here, Chief Testing Officer for Peter Glenn Ski and Sports, hanging out with another testing officer, uh, Camille Conrad, Red Bull Raid Champion, another fellow skier. Uh, but we're out here on the lake in Lake Tahoe. Man, what a gorgeous day. Uh, testing out all the, the wake sports stuff, giving you a kind of an idea of how this stuff performs so you can have an idea when you buy it and have a great uh, summer on the lake or wherever you might do your water sports. All right, this is the O'Brien Royal 6.3, or O'Brien Royale 6.3. <laughs> That's what they call it, but 63 inches long, uh, which is kind of on the, the longer side for a uh, wake surfboard. So this is where you're letting go of the rope, you're in the wave, um, and you're surfing. Um, this is a floaty board, so it's great for, you know, bigger people, including me, I would be in that category, but it's also great for beginners, uh, people who haven't done it a lot, like Camille. Uh, first of all, did you find it difficult to get up on? Not at all, surprisingly. I don't have a lot of experience wakeboarding, and I popped up first try. Yeah. Um, and I found the board was really stable. Mm. Um, it wasn't squirrely, it kept its heading, and I, yeah, it was, a, it was a stable board, and it was very easy for me to get up on. And again, I don't have very much experience. Well, I asked that question because sometimes you know, it's obviously once you get up, it's nice to have a bigger board because you don't, A, need as big a wake. So if you have like a ski boat, for example, um, and you have kids or small, you know, and they, you can probably, you can wake surf off a normal ski boat with this bigger board because it has more surface area. But sometimes the bigger boards can make it harder to get that move to get up. But that I feel sense. like they've designed this in a way that you were able to do that move and get it glued to your feet. Because when you yeah, when you first get up on a wake surfboard, if you've wakeboarded before, you don't have boots, so you gotta let the boat pull you and then you gotta let the board flip up and that gl glues it to your feet mm -hmm. and then you get up. Um, I also rode on this board and uh, I'm, you know, more like intermediate, I guess, maybe advanced wake surfer. I've been doing it a bit and I found it to be really fun. Uh, it's more of a mellow cruiser. So like, you know, you can get deep in the wave and you can work your way back up, but you can't necessarily really pump it hard. Right. Um, I was able to kind of get on the, the rail eventually and, and kind of get some good pumps, but it's a little more of a long, slow pump. It's not like that, the rowdy, you know, wap, 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 to get to the, to get to the lip. Yep. So you kind of have to, it's more of a cruiser. Um, and part of that is because it's got this sort of pintail, all right, almost like an old school surfboard. It's got a small FCS fin, which if you're familiar with surfing, that's the fin system you want. It's just a little Allen key and you can pop it out. This is only a 2.9 inch, so pretty small, but you could put any fin you want in there if you wanted a little more uh, traction in the back. Um, yeah, I saw you get barreled. I mean, you <laughs> squat down and got low on it. I tried, I tried to do a little hand drag. Uh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Did you find it hard to like, when you know when you're going down the line towards the boat could you slow it down easily i could i think because of its stature it was a little bit more difficult for me yeah. i really had to put my weight in to try and break a little bit sure um so kind of like you were saying it wasn't necessarily as um maneuverable right. as as uh, other wakeboards sure. but i felt really stable and again kind of just patient and smooth on it all right, cool. So, um, yeah, that's one thing to note. Obviously, the bigger board, easier to catch a wave. You can use it on smaller wakes, but obviously it's, it's less nimble in some ways. And what she's talking about is when you put your back foot on to try to slow it down. I've found like with my kids and stuff, like you really have to hammer on that thing to get it to slow down. But they do have really good EVA foam pad. Comes like this. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to wax it. It's got a little kick, foot back, uh, kick pad back in the back it's for when you really want to get after it. Um, and it's really nice and durable. You can tell it's kind of got like a surf feel to it. Like it feels like a fiberglass board, but they call it surf cap. So it feels very durable, which, you know, if you've ever had a surfboard in a, in a wake surf boat or a water ski boat, they get trashed. They're getting banged around. Yeah, yeah. so you want to be able to throw it around. All right, any other thoughts? Did no, you enjoy it? I loved it. It was really fun. And again, it made it accessible for me and I had a good time doing it. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, that's it, the O'Brien Royale. 63 incher. <laughs> get it at peterglenn.com. Get the gear before you go. Later. Hey.